assessor from North Dakota. We're going to be reviewing the Salem today. It's a 31K QBTS. So what we have here in the front, we're going to start with is going to be your jack. When you first pull in, and you go to set everything up, it's going to be your light right here, and then it's going to be your up and down switch. And then right behind that, we're going to have your propane tank. So you take these two knobs, and you just open this way. You put this flat back. On the side, you're going to have two tanks. There's going to be two four and a half gallon propane tanks. They're going to be secured by this butterfly valve. And you're going to have your pressure regulator here. So whenever you're using your propane, you're going to want to make sure you have. You're going to be using either one of the tanks. So you open this tank, and you take this little knob, and you just flip it over to the other side, and they'll be able to preg it. So then right behind that, we're going to have 12 volt deep cycle marine battery. Whenever you go in to the camper, or campground I should say, and you hook the hook up to the shore power, you're going to want to disconnect this via the battery disconnect switch here, the on and off switch. Now whenever you go and take your camper and you set it up for the winter time, I also recommend you do that as well. Then you take and disconnect the battery from the terminal. Now coming around to this side over here, we're going to have an access panel. You also have your information here if you need, for your VIN number and everything, tire weight and all that. So inside this void, we're going to have a hand crank, which that hand crank is going to be used in case your power jack up there goes out. And that's going to be your 30 amp hookup cord for short power. Continuing down the camper. Tank flush. And when you need to flush out your black tank, black water tank. Now looking down here as well, you're gonna have your wastewater holding tank, your sewer outlet connection, and your sewage holding tank. These gray valves right here are gonna be for your gray water system. The blacks for the black water system. Now when these are in all the way, no water is going to be coming out, but whenever you do go to flush your system, make sure you're always ready to hit the hookup when you have your slinky on here and it's hooked up to the waste disposal. You'll open this black tank. I recommend doing that one first and then doing your gray water so it can clean all the rest out. And then when you're done, just push them back in. And you're good to go. And then you have also your secondary galley tank. So you're gonna have a galley tank just for the kitchen and the drain in there. And then you'll have one for the bathroom and the shower. Now here, on the rear, you're gonna have a cable satellite hookup. And then you're gonna also have your city water connection. Whenever you hook up to the city water, you're gonna wanna make sure you always have your water pressure regulator on. And then right next to that, you're going to have your 30 amp or 50 amp power connection, I'm sorry. On the rear of the camper, you're going to have your spare tire. You're also going to have an outdoor shower that you can use, hook up. That's going to run off of your fresh water connection. Also on the back, we have a griddle. Gonna have two straps down here. Unhook those straps and you can take the cover off. Put your outdoor griddle. It's also on an arm to swing. Coming around the camper. Gonna have another pull out here. and it's gonna automatically raise itself, so be careful when you open it. Inside, you're gonna have storage at the top. To the and you're also gonna have an ever chill fridge. And this is gonna be running off of your battery as well. You have a little outdoor sink here. Some more storage space. You have a GFCI outlet. Your reset buttons here. 
and also another satellite hookup. So coming around as well, you have your awnings on the outside, outdoor speakers that are connected and can be turned on and off via the sound system inside. You also have another outlet, in case you need one out here. You have a freshwater drain, so whenever you're winterizing your unit, you can come up here and you can simply pull that lever and it drains your fresh water tank. And when you're done, just push it back in. This here is going to be your outlet for your uh, exhaust for the furnace in the system. And then also right here, you're going to have your fresh water connection. So this right here is going to be your hot water tank. Whenever you go to fill up your hot water, you're going to open the bypass valves on the inside to your hot water tank. Sometimes these are a little tricky. So there's two ways you can run the hot water system via electric or gas. The switch for your electric is going to be right here. On and off switch. Whenever you go to drain the unit, take this bleeder valve. What you're going to do is you're going to just open that gently. You'll have some hot water come out. Be careful because it is going to be very hot. And then whenever you're done bleeding out the air, you're gonna take and remove this knob right here and water is gonna be coming out of there. And then you can also use this pressure valve to get a better flow as well. Just be careful because it will be hot. So coming up on the roof, you're gonna to wanna to inspect this two times a year. What you're gonna to wanna to look for on these, on these corners is just make sure all that lap sealant is covered make sure there's no cracks or anything like that make sure there's no bubbling now if you do have to do it you're going to take some rubbing alcohol or acetone and just go clean the area prep the area and you're going to go around and inspect all of your vents around your antennas everything like that you're also going to want to check your slide out seals just run along those right through here and make sure those are good. So finishing up on the outside, we're gonna be making our way on the inside. So here you have your door, just open it up all the way. Here's gonna be your ladder. Before we to put it down, we're gonna have two feet that you can adjust whenever you do get it. You just press the knob in in and out just like that. You're going to have a release mechanism right here. Grab your handle, pull, and then just lower it down. And coming to the side, first off you're going to see a fire extinguisher for the unit right here. And then also, you're going to have your access panel and control panel for everything. Have your interior lights, you have your battery, it shows the charge, fresh water, black water, gray water, and your galley. These indicator lights up here will indicate what level the tank is at. So these two work for your slide out and your awning. Now your slide out or your awnings will work on shore power or battery power. And you're just gonna extend them. Extend until you can hear the motor and everything back into place, just like that. And then we'll go ahead and show you the awning as well here. Now, when you're doing your awning, we'll notice towards the end that you're going to be able to see the metal bar as it unfolds. Now as you're doing this, you're going to want to watch that awning as you can see where the white and the metal is starting to show. And you only want to go about halfway until you can see that half black bar. Yeah, should pull down. Now the same is going to be. Bring it back in.
So also you have your water pump and your water heater. These are your two lights. Whenever you want to use water and you have water hooked up and then the tank, or if you're attached to the city water connection, you can press this water pump and you'll have water flowing. So coming into the unit on your right hand side here, you're gonna have for your TV, you're gonna have a TV mount behind this wall. And then you'll have your cables can run up through here. This is gonna be your sound system and also your heater. You also have an outlet here and your auxiliary satellite. So this is a heater and stereo combo. You have additional storage on this side. And if you come over here, you have these lights here. You can flip as well to turn on and off. And here is the kitchen. You have the fridge that is run by electricity. Simply press these two knobs on the inside, your freezer, and your fridge, microwave, light and vent fan. You're going to have a gas range here. You know, make sure you have your propane on for whenever you do this. You have a sink. Now up underneath of the sink here, in this unit, you're going to have your hot water tank. So whenever you do use your hot water tank or you need hot water, make sure that you have the flow in here, allowing water to go into the tank. You just want to come on in here, show you these knobs. So these are going to allow water to come in or out. Turning it this way is going to bypass, and this way is going to allow water to go into the tank and out. Following me back here, have additional storage, top and bottom, and also down here. Typically your starter kit and stuff will be in here as well. You also have additional slides here. Whenever you do go to operate these two back slides, make sure that your door is always closed and secured. So as we step into the back room here, right here you have light switches for this room as well, and additional lighting above the beds. Additional storage here with all these totes, another outlet and a satellite connector if you want to put a TV in. And then this here over here also folds out to additional sleeping area. Your mattress is right here. And then underneath we also have cushions that detach. See, just take the strap, pull it all the way, and you have additional bedding. Storage is as simple as that.
like that ready for entertainment again. Above, you also have venting that works with the AC, and you also have an air vent in case you need fresh air. Simply rotate the knob, and it'll raise. Coming back into the living room here. You have your AC and furnace controls. You press this button here, it'll be in the off. And you have just a fan, high and low, cool high and low, and then you also have a cool high and auto. And then also your heat here as well. And just the thermostat. Coming here into this next room, we're gonna have your bathroom. <coughs> Inside the bathroom, you're gonna have your standard GFCI outlet right here. Just push to reset if you need. You're gonna have an on and off switch for the lighting in the room. Have your standard toilet here. Simple flush. You're also gonna have a shower space here as well. So in this unit, you're gonna also have gas and a regular fire detector. Make sure you're always testing those. Just like that. And then down here, you're gonna have your gas tester. And that'll let you know you're good to go. So follow me back here. We'll go to the front of the unit, towards where the main master bedroom is. So this is the master bedroom. Underneath you have storage. This simply lifts up on it. Just like that. You have underneath storage as well that you can access with or without that oven. On the sides, you also have inside of here, little storage areas. And above the bed, you also have a light. You can flick on and off with or without the light switch that's right here. This here is going to be for your laundry, which also connects to that outside space right there. So if you are out at the campground, you can just grab your laundry right out of the camper and go. And you're also going to have two USB outlets on either side for plugging in your phones or any other devices. And your light switch for everything is right here. So that's going to be the 31K QBTS. My name is Dakota and I hope you guys have a wonderful time.